connect. I haven't done this this in a while, you know, coming and just talking about this game. I just witnessed one of the worst football cruelty in the history of football. Hungary deserved something out of that game. The way they performed and the way they struggled, uh, they deserve at least one single thing. This is what we call football cruelty. It is best. And it's not even the unjusti- injustice football quality. It is actually the justice quality because all the goals that went in, they were really definitely goals. But I just didn't believe I'm going to lose either way. But I lost my three goals to me in the last five or ten minutes. How does that even make sense? Oh my God. Can't. Wow. Can't. Cruel. Love for more connect. Welcome back to another video. This is the Football Connect. I'm your host, Sam, and we are back again to episode six. We are on episode six, and this is nothing but let me remind you, people. This is Eurotalk. We are back again with another one. This is a special show that was created for nothing but the Euro. We are going to be talking about every single thing that will be happening in the Euro, building up. Uh, building up for tomorrow's games and also wrapping up the games of the day. Like, we are going to be talking about the group of death right now, guys. We have to talk about what happened and what I thought of, about the game and what does this mean as we go forward. Probably you might even get what I mean by just looking by the, looking at what I've just said there because I'm actually saying what I'm feeling right now and that's what I feel. Hungary didn't deserve to lose that game. I watched that, that game and I felt like at least with the performance that they put on that game, at least walking out with something, with at least, let me just say a little bit of dignity out of that performance was enough for me. I didn't want them to be doing what they performed so well, they did so well, but somebody has to come and remind them that there is no any football game that is only played. Listen to this word. There is no any football game that is played. For and there's the, the worst part about this 83 minutes because up to 83 minutes, everything for Hungary was okay. They were working, they were but they even scored a goal to make to even talk about something. They even scored, scored a goal, then things just went apart. Thing, it happened like that book that I once read before, which is called Things Fall Apart. Things just fell so fast apart, and by the end of the game, it was 3 <laughs> 0. But definitely, you all know, know what I'm talking about. Three new doesn't, the three goals that were scored doesn't really, really give us an, an inside story of what the game was all about or does not really tell exactly the truth of what really happened in the game. I think you all guys can all agree with me when I say Hungary, we thought that these guys were going to be whipping boys. The boys that any team that is bored, that he doesn't even want to concentrate on game, just come and hit the team and walk away. Beat the team and walk away. But Hungary came in and proved us all wrong that they are actually a team on a mission. And their mission is to shock that big group that everyone is afraid of. It was an amazing game. I don't want to lie to you. I really did enjoy it. And... I can't wait to see where we're going on with this because as much as I say something, Euro keep on surprising me at the same time. It keeps getting better. And I did bring out a lot of scenarios on the Hunger game. But on the French game, I didn't really have to talk about a lot because all of the things that were happening in the French game, France game, I'd already predicted it. I predicted France that we're going to win. I predicted that Portugal we're going to win. But the way Portugal won, and the way France won, those are two different things. Because with Portugal, they sweat for that one. France, they were gifted an own goal by Germany. So 
Yeah, that was issue situation. So, group of death, the craziest group that everyone were afraid of, which is Group F. This is how it finished. Portugal are on top with three goals and three points, of course. Then we're France with three points and one goal. So that's why they are the Hungary goes underneath or the goes below Germany because they have more. Oh my God, I wish I was showing you what I'm talking about. I actually thought that the screen was facing me, but guess what? You guys are on an empty screen. Thank God that I have something that can tell me if things that I don't want to appear is not appearing. And it gives me a warning already. So, like what I'm talking about is you can now see on the screen now. That's good. Now with what what has happened, what has happened now, Germany are number three and Hungary are number four. So what does this mean? What do I mean with what I've just said? Hungary, if they play against France, maybe let me just say the same way that they played against the Germany, uh, the way they played against Portugal, I don't know. I can predict time they can at least maybe by God's given chance, get something better than what they got today. That's something that I feel ill. I'm trying to believe. Oh, Germany, on the other hand, the performance against Portugal, I feel like that is the end of the road for Germany. I, I don't know, like, things can all turn around and we will be surprised when we see Germany beats Portugal, then they go beat Hungary. Guess what? Things are already changing. It means they'll be number two. If they beat Portugal, then maybe go draw with Hungary. It means that they are on one of the best three that can actually go forward. Or maybe you never know. But at this moment, things are looking up for Portugal. The interesting part about winning one game is when you know that you have to play other three games to actually identify where you'll be standing, is this. Things can just change in just a small little time. That's one thing that I love about football. You won't be, you might be surprised tomorrow when we we finish the day, Italy will no longer be on top of Group A. Wales may be actually on top or even below or Switzerland or even Turkey. So that's one thing that I'm really excited about this. But anyway, Germany were playing so good. Germany were playing so good. I think what Germany just failed to do was to break the team down because you only win games when you're breaking teams down. And they failed to do that. They really failed to do that. And France, they really didn't have to do much. They scored and they said, it's your, I'm giving you this opportunity, Germany. Try by all means to break me down. They failed. It was like I was watching the Champions League of 2019 where Liverpool, 2019 where Liverpool won it all over again. It was like I'm reliving the past. But anyway, I'm joking. But on top of that, France scored or oh, had one shot on the post. They scored two times, which were ruled as offside. And if we have to look at it, the way the game was played, Germany, as much as they were playing well with position, I've said this on the stream, Germany are going to leave this game within the most amazing position that you can ever have in a game you lose. But France, they will live here with the goals because they knew the strategy, they had a strategy, they, the way that they wanted to play this game. And it came exactly according to what they actually planned. And they got what they got. Congratulations to them. That's what... I don't really, I'm not going to hold anything against them. They played so well. They did deserve what they got. So give them the credit that they deserve. Come on. Anyway, so that's what really happened, people. I don't know if I'm missing anything that I need to talk about when it comes to the Germany France game. Other than Kylian Mbappe is an amazing player. That goal that he scored in the second goal was world class. The first goal, in fact. It was world class. Then the pass that he gave to Kevin to Karam Benzema to score his first goal, which was also ruled as offside, was out of this world. All of these things were just some classy goals. Some of the reasons why we all have to go and watch and enjoy the Euro, because they always give you something to smile about. And definitely today they did deliver. I really was excited. I really did enjoy the game. Now the question that matters is this: Where do they go from here? Not the question that nobody's asking. Where do they go from here now? Now they just go prepare to play with Hungary. Mm, they just go prepare to play with the Gamma Hungary. Germany has to go prepare to play against Portugal. That's why I said there, 
Germany is probably out, not out of the of the top two, but out of the tournament because there's no way. I think they're gonna beat Portugal. I don't see it. I wish I could see it. I'm closing my eyes, hoping that it comes. No, I don't. With what happened today over Hungary, I don't see it. Let me hear your thoughts in the comment section. But no, what happened today with France? I don't really see it. But anyway, with the Portugal, with the way they played against Hungary, they can do on to that. Especially, they've discovered that the best team is not the team that performs throughout the game. The best team is the one that goes out with a victory at the end of the game. That was Portugal in this game. And Hungary, I'm really sorry for the cruelty, but that's how life is. Football can be cruel. And we saw it first end today. I hope you sleep tight, which I know that it's going to be hard to do, but really, really sorry. I'm trying here, people. I'm busy trying, taking out words that aren't even meant to be mine. And anyway, let's move on to the next stage. Mm, which is tomorrow. So tomorrow we have some interesting games, that's for sure. We don't stop. We are going back again to our normal program of three games in a day. So we continue with our programs and we don't, we never stop. We want to keep doing more and actually watching the games that we are watching. And how are we continuing? Now, let's make that clear now to you guys. Oh, I'm going to the track. Why am I even going to the track? I want to come to the Euros. Let's go, to, let's go to the fixtures, firstly, which is important. The fixtures of tomorrow are easy. We have Finland versus Russia. We have Turkey versus Wales. Then we have Italy versus Switzerland. So, Finland versus Russia, unfortunately, because of my busy weekday excuse, I was I wanted to say excuses, because of my busy weekday job and whatever that I'm doing, I won't be able to cover Finland versus Russia. But I promise you, Turkey versus Wales, it will be live on your screen on the Football Connect. And Italy versus Switzerland will be live on your screen, live on the Football Connect. I told you that I was going to cover these games, and I'm sticking to that until to the rest of my life. You should go listen to that James Arthur song. It's amazing. The September track, oh, it's amazing. What a, what a, what a track. Anyway, how did I got lost to that? I'm coming back here, guys. So, of course, it's the 16th of Ju June, 2021. We continue. Finland versus Russia. Now, um, Finland, with the win that they got against Denmark, which I felt like they didn't deserve. Denmark were really not into that game. They are really going their confidence that they're playing with a team that will be beaten by Belgium, and they're going to enjoy the game. With this group, too, that we're talking about. But I'm going to have to give them something something that they won't even believe is actually there. I do 100% believe that they're going to try to play, but Russia are going to beat them. 100% they're going to be beaten by Russia, and it's going to be amazing to watch. Hello, hello, Mr. Karen. How are you doing? Hungary deserved the draw. I, I said it from the beginning. I felt like they experienced what we call football quality. They deserved something out of that game, but it didn't come. That's how football is all about, my friend. It hurts a lot to watch. A big win for France, which is going to actually work, there, work well for them, especially against Hungary. Let, I'm not counting Hungary out. They've earned my respect so much. But France are still the world's number one. And they're going to be playing with the team that is that had confidence, which has been broken with the last six minutes of the game against Portugal. I hope they find a way to build that up. But France... Yeah, let's give it to the French players. They really do deserve that win. Uh, I have to say, Germany are almost the same like Spain. They play good football, but they don't have guys who are going to help them to finish the game. And maybe that, in a way, kind of like left them out because they could not finish the chances that were creating. There was this big chance that was created well and it fell to Gnabry and he had to hit on top of the year galleries. And I was like, is he even serious of at least getting something out of this game? I didn't even see it at all. But that's what happened. That's why we love football. We will definitely see what happens as we look forward to the next games. Do me a favor, by the way. Click that like button. Subscribe to the Football Connect if you haven't. Let me know what you thought of those games and where do you think they go. So what I'm doing right now, I'm talking about what's going to be happening tomorrow. If you're just joining us right now, guys, you might 
want to find out what's going to happen. Hello, Mr. Lucius, how are you? Uh, we made that clear on our prediction video that France will win the tournament. I have no doubt. I have no doubt unless they've given me a reason to think otherwise. But at this moment, what I saw today, I still stand with what I said. They're going to win the tournament. France, France are just that good. Kylian Mbappe, I, I, before I even go far, guys, let's talk about the goal that Kylian Mbappe scored and it was disallowed. Did, did you see the quality? The quality in that player, the way he set it in that, that corner, man. I was watching that boy and I was like, oh my God, this is why I love to watch football. This is why I love to watch football. This is why I want Kylian Mbappe to come to Liverpool, which I know it's not going to happen. He might probably sign with PSG if he doesn't go to Real Madrid, which it seems like Real Madrid are not going to take him. But France are going to win the tournament, period, unless things change. I don't know if you agree with us, Mr. Kieran, or you have decided to change. You have some team that you believe can win it. Maybe Italy, maybe. You never know. We'll see them tomorrow, like I said. They're going to be playing against Switzerland. So it's big shock playing against Italy. I can't wait. I'm really, really looking forward to them. So like I said, tomorrow the game that we're going to be covering is of course uh, Turkey versus Wales. Then we have Italy versus Sweden. Those are the two games that I'm going to be covering. The afternoon one, I won't be able to because I'll be running around, like I said, trying to work, trying to produce some money to at least continue keeping this last stream on. You never know. Anyway, but that is also what we have to be doing. It's really important to continue with the Football Connect. Anyway, let's move on to what I think the games of tomorrow are going to do this. Then I want to hear your predictions, guys. I want to hear your prediction. What is, before I go there, I want to hear your predictions. Uh, Finland versus Russia. Let me hear your predictions. Turkey versus Wales and Italy versus Swede, Switzerland. I want to hear your predictions right now in the comment section. Uh, my, my predictions of Finland versus Russia, I think Finland won, Russia two. That's how I'm seeing it. And re remember this, guys. I've said it right now on this live stream. If we have to, we have to visit, revisit it again. I felt like Finland didn't deserve, I don't know, this is what I felt. I, did, I felt like Finland didn't really deserve the war win that they got against Denmark. They played with the team that was dealing with some emotional baggage. <laughs> if you understand what I mean, they almost watched one of their own die in the stadium and they were forced to come back into the game. With that penalty, they, they would have turned everything around. Maybe it would have they've been a draw, but even the goal that was scored by Finland. Do you think Schmeichel, 9 out of 10, he won't save that goal? Of course he will. But anyway, I, I, I respect what you're saying, Mr. Lewis. You're saying that 2-1 for Finland is going to be interesting. But guess what? Mother Russia is not a small team to look past, you know. I'm trying by all means to do, but I can't. The next game, Turkey versus Wales. Now, this is going to be an interesting one because Turkey were beaten by Italy and the people are still favoring them as the tournament favorites. At the same time, I just watched Wales come back from that defeat that they almost got from Switzerland and made it two and made it one one. So Wales they have got that fighting spirit in them. They can always deliver the the fight the spirit that they have. So I can't wait to see what's gonna happen. Before I go in, I need to read the comment that just came out right now. True, Russia was good in the World Cup. That's what I believe. I, you know, that's maybe maybe that's why I'm being biased. Like I'm saying that Russia can win this game. Why? Because I did see Russia in the World Cup. I did see them perform at the world best and they were amazing. Things didn't work out for them. So I still believe that maybe when they were playing against uh, Russia, the last game they were playing against, which team were they playing against? They were playing against the Belgium. I, I just believe that I think they just played with a bigger team than them. Now that they're, they're playing with Finland, a team that worked so hard to be, of course, qualifying in this tournament, which is I almost, if I remember, it's like their first time, right? They have to play Russia. I feel like Russia are going to have enough in them to, sh to really hurt Finland. That's how I feel. But Finland are going to fight back. That's why I said 2-1. I'm not really counting them out. But it's going to be interesting to see what happens. Also, we have got Turkey versus Wales. Let me hear your predictions before we go in with our 
Turkey versus Wales. Of course, Turkey, they're always going to be close to me because of Oz and Kabak. He was at my former, he was in my club. I love the guy now after what I saw him do at Liverpool. But now he's no longer with us. I want to see what's going to happen. Wales, they, they can pull out some surprises. But I feel like as much as people have, people have always been saying so much about this Turkey team, and I think that they're going to deliver when they play against Wales. I think Turkey are going to win this game by two goals to nil. And I just received a comment right now. And you are saying that one nil to Turkey. I feel the same as well. I feel like as much as I don't really see how much of a bigger threat Turkey are, I think here they will definitely deliver. Okay, now we go to the last game of tomorrow, which is Italy versus Switzerland. Now, I, I, I don't want to be crazy. I don't want to say some crazy things with what I saw Switzerland and how Turkey came back to them. I don't even want to waste time. I'm going to say easy. Italy are winning that one. I need to read a comment that just came in right now. Um, don't forget that Turkey won against the Netherlands. Yes, yes. That is a big, big, big talking point. They proved that they can win in the big stage playing a team like Netherlands. So that's why I am really saying that Turkey are going to beat Wales. No, no problem. I don't think they're going to have a problem beating Wales. So it's going to be interesting. That is for sure. I hope we will be ready to take it, though. I just mean the, the people from the side. Italy, 2-0. I think they're actually going to do one better. You know, I think they're going to score the three goals that they scored again against Switzerland, and it's going to be amazing. But I think Switzerland, are gonna be, they're going to score one back. I think it's going to be 3-1. I don't know why I do believe that. But I think it's going to be exciting. Those are the games that are going to be played tomorrow, guys. Don't be surprised that our my predictions... And Mr. Lowe's predictions goes exactly opposite to what we are thinking. Because we almost saw it with Hungary today. They were so, so close to pull out a shock against Cristiano Ronaldo. But they faced the quality of football. And I don't know how they're going to move on from that. But I think they need to move on, especially that they're facing France on the next game. So these are our predictions, guys. You can always leave your predictions in the comment section when you are re-watching this video. But this is what I thought of Euro today. The group of death didn't really seem so deadly, you know, at the end of the day. Especially, I thought the group of death was going to be the worst for Hungary. But no, that's not what happened. So I'm, ho I'm hoping that maybe the next round of the group of death, they really give us the group, the performance we are looking for and we really see how dangerous this group is and why a lot of people are afraid of the clubs that are going to come out of those that group for the round of 16. But anyway, for, the, for, the, for today and the first round of Euro 2020, I finished same as enjoy them. I told you I'll keep you on, I'll keep you on the live streams. I've been there for the since the first game up to now, and I'm still continuing. Also, is Euro Connect. So join me tomorrow on the Euro Connect, and also on the live streams that are going to be played of the games that are going to be played tomorrow. It's going to be exciting. I hope you guys are ready to see what happens. Let's see where we get with this football connect is is there anything you want to say before we go guys i want to hear your thoughts click that like button subscribe to the football connect give me your predictions if you are just joining in you can just put it them in there then we'll look at them later on then maybe i might read them when i come back click that like button subscribe to the football connect this has been nice amazing thank you to those guys who have been participating with me i've been your boy sam and this has been the football connect guys if you have something that you're saying i might even before I go off life, I might even say something about it before I go, maybe read it. So I hope it comes before I go live. Thank you very much for watching. This is important to me. Thank you very much to those who keep subscribing. We are growing as the football community. I hope that we keep going far and actually keep enjoying the Euro. The Euro are here, guys. I hope you are ready to see more surprise turns because there are a lot of U-turns that are happening. This is me signing out. Good night. See you tomorrow. Goodbye. Thank for that. Meets the goalkeeper. They just lost for words. He is just brilliant. Georgia Pesky.